Hi, I'll be going over the mechanical components that make up the 986 Boxster convertible top operation. And I'll be starting with the motor, looking at the rear of the vehicle. Um, so this is driven by electrical power off the battery. And from what I've read, these rarely fail. And then from the motor, there are two cables on either side. The motor spins these cables and you can follow that down. So it spins the inside of the cable. The cable connects inside of here to a transmission housing and then that transmits the rotation of the cable to move this V lever in a fashion that will operate both this arm here, which connects to the support for the aluminum tonneau cover, and then that forward arm there, which connects to the top. What I've done is I've disassembled this side to give you a better idea what you're looking at. So this is a cable that you would use a flathead screwdriver to undo the clip there and the cable end is going to look like this. You want somewhere between a half inch to three quarters of an inch and you want it to be square enough that the motor is going to be able to spin the cable. One of the issues is sometimes the cable itself comes apart inside of this sheath so that the motor can no longer spin the cable. And another issue is if you don't have enough sticking out at the end, again, the motor won't be able to spin that cable. So that's the two big issues with that. And then that cable comes around the inside and this is the transmission assembly, which I have pulled. This is how it would sit in the car. It's held to the car by three bolts. Those are the holes for them there. This center portion is where that V is bolted to the transmission. And in the center of it, you can see a notch. And what you can do is you can use the notch on both sides to ensure that the top is properly aligned. And in order to do that, you would disconnect one cable at a time from the motor and use an electrical drill in order to operate the side that you want and then make sure that both of those notches are aligned. So that's the transmission itself. The rear arm which connects to the aluminum tonneau cover. That connects to this ball socket here. In order to remove it from the car or in order to disconnect it from that ball socket if it doesn't pull off easily, sometimes it helps to get a flathead screwdriver between it and twist the flathead screwdriver. That should give you a little bit of space to pull it off. And if it still won't pull off, then in that space, you can use a pry bar. Sometimes it pulls off easily. Sometimes you need to use a pry bar and a screwdriver on it. This bolt here is a 19 millimeter bolt. And then this bolt here is a five millimeter hex, so you need a Allen wrench for that. This is the arm that connects to it. And this connects to the convertible top towards the front of the vehicle. And sometimes these plastic ends will break and you can buy either replacement ends for it 
or you could replace the whole arm itself, which is much more expensive. The transmission is held to the side of the vehicle itself by the, those three nuts and those belong to these attachment standoffs here. So there's three of those and they are actually attached to the vehicle itself. I guess if your top suffers a lot of trauma, it's possible for these to get sheared off the vehicle or twisted. Twist the aluminum underneath. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of all the mechanical components 